Is that the Emperor? Ah, oh, yes, your father. I didn't think he was invited. <laughs> Fair likeness of the old man. Too modern a style for him, of course. I'm afraid I'm not much of a painter. It's true. There are no brushstrokes in this painting. I can see that clearly. So to achieve the color, some sort of chemical must be interacting, presumably some sort of sprayer up your sleeve. Yeah? But you feel you must. I do. Oh, let the man do his show. You want me to just sit there when it's so obvious? <laughs> I do. He tries to trick you. I try to enlighten you, which is the more noble pursuit. May we have the lights, please? So His Highness can better see. See here, Leopold. Let's have the show. Yeah, here. Yeah. Come on, Leopold. Get on with it. Very well. I propose a challenge. Why don't you... Astonish us, if you can, without all the gadgetry. As you wish. Your sword is very beautiful. Might I see it? Where does power flow from? Skill or destiny? Or divine right? We all know the story of a sword called Excalibur. Excalibur's blade was fixed in stone. And there it stayed. Many worthy knights tried to pull the sword from the stone. Only Arthur succeeded, proving his right to rule. Who can take this sword? You, sir. Can you take the sword? No surprise there. Perhaps you, sir. Not so eager, cousin. You <laughs> <laughs> shall live a long life. Thank you for your indulgence. Come now, if you can't pull it out, you'll never be emperor. Your father would live to be a hundred. <laughs> Sword to its rightful owner. That's enough flight entertainment for this evening. For a more serious discussion. Please join me for a drink. Shut him down. Well, he's very popular. I'm sure you'll find a way. 